you, Carl. It's really good to see you. There's so much been good talking to you. We got to talk about. I want to. I want to. I want to elaborate on that on that term, vig. I think that's a great <laughs> term that we've been discussing. And in the audience, welcome very very much on this November uh, 24 of the year 2009. Uh, welcoming to this program uh, a dear friend of mine. I think maybe one of the very hardest, most energy energetic, hardest working, never. Ceasing I'm sorry, Harold. We had a screw up in here. We're going to start again. I put the wrong guest name up. I'm sorry. You want to be called Eleanor? I don't care. Get you Eleanor. Don't he doesn't <laughs> care, <laughs> but. Uh, okay, we'll start again. Naomi Klein's really good. She really writes well. She's a real scholar. I've been reading that book. But anyway. Okay, so good to see you, Carl. Welcome very much. I'm glad you've come back from your venture to Atlantic City and that you came ahead. I think that's a good omen, right, that you came out ahead and you did not uh, fall into plungers uh, panic and, fall and do any of that sort of thing. And in the audience, welcome. Welcome very, very much to Conversations. <coughs> Dear friend of mine in the world, that's Carl uh, Pearson. He is one of the most, as I, uh, is one of the most energetic, hardworking people. Seems not to have an unlimited source of energy for projects that come. He develops projects and writes books like I would write home a note to my mother. I mean, he does it with such a plum. He's got about a thousand websites up on all kinds of subjects. He has very important things to say about a great many aspects of the human condition. And it's a real pleasure, as always, Carl, to welcome you to the program. Glad you didn't lose your shirt in Vegas. Oh, no, I didn't lose it. I gained one. I oh, you gained. Yeah. Okay, let's not encourage the youth, <laughs> though, okay? You know that. Do you remember that it used to – are you – you're young. You remember – they used to have advertisements on the television, and they were very serious. Because we're going to want to talk some about the legitimacy of the system, or the you know the whole system in a big way. They used to have advertisements, and they would say, the, "Against gambling," and they would say, "It's terrible. It's immoral. It's terrible." They would do a really strong uh, thing like that in moral terms until they learned that they could set up lotto and things like that. And now they encourage yeah. them. I mean, a yeah. real moral shift. And it's probably true. Gambling and plunging could just, you know, you go out and buy, instead of buying milk for the kids, you go out and lose it in a crap game. But, you know, but that's a moral shift that's happened. I'm sorry, I got off on a well, tangent there. Well, it goes to the blue laws and, they, and the people that ran government yeah. that were stealing money and giving money to their friends yeah. wanted to figure out a way to get more money to steal. And when they figured out they could get more money to steal, they, they instead they of putting these stupid ads about how bad it is to gamble, it's your patriotic well, duty to of, gamble. Instead of outlawing all gambling, they oh. only outlawed gambling that was not run by the state. That's because the mafia was taking right. all the big. Right. Right. Yeah, right. Okay. That so now the state that, so now the too. state is in the business of bigging. That, that where it used to be a blue law and illegal, now the state is, is has a major interest in doing That's it. That's what I'm saying in my yeah, lifetime, yeah. a major shift on a major moral principle and so right. forth, and I don't know what else they're gonna back down on and, and, and they of. and they gave up trying to get people to stop smoking because there was a settlement for billions of dollars that went to the state governments where they needed that money and they didn't want to put the tobacco people out of business because they needed the money to come in over a 20 year period. Tobacco is a, yeah, they used yeah. to really, they had helicopters checking on how many rows of tobacco you had to keep the price up down in <laughs> Kentucky and stuff. It's a system that really has a lot of flaws yeah. and everything and you, you well document. But let's go over really quick, really well, quick. Let, let me ask, do you okay, think I should, do, do, you think, do you think that I should mm. produce a movie yeah. that I would call Big Vig? 
Yes, I think <laughs> Does that it would sound be. Like big Vig. Yeah, yeah big, big Vig. Yeah. I was thinking yeah. of doing that to yeah. really explain how Vig controls our lives and is really causing a decline in the economy because that's what's happening. Spell it happening. out, Professor. Spell okay? it out. Here, here's what's happening. I started off years ago in law school mm -hmm. and I became familiar with the antitrust laws. Mm -hmm. And I was told then that we have antitrust laws which when applied will benefit the world or mm -hmm. at least the people in the United States. Yeah. And I believed it. Mm. So I, I went out into practice as a lawyer, mm -hmm. and almost the first thing I did is I, I wound up representing someone in an antitrust suit. Uh, yeah, that was my first thing. Yeah. Antitrust, yeah. Heavy into antitrust. Yeah. And, and, and then when I did that, that was in uh, 1970. Okay. The, we had antitrust laws that were being enforced by the government. Okay. Yeah. Starting at that point, it was downhill from there. And when Nixon came into office, he gave the order to stop enforcing the antitrust laws. Really? Yes. Was that about the time that he did price and <coughs> wage controls? Or well, that was early. Well, I'm not 72 sure. 72, he yeah. said we're all Keynesians now. I yeah, know, but, but they, they gave the order to stop doing it because yeah. it would interfere with the profit-making or VIG-making activity of the big companies. VIG is a term out of Brooklyn that has to do with vigorous, vigorous. and loan sharking, yes. I think, right? right. Vigorous, but, but, but yeah. Is that a Yiddish term? Or what I'm not it? sure, yeah. but, but it, it, it's sufficiently used in New York for us to know that it's money that is taken away from us by people acting illegally. Acting illegally, well, necessarily? Yeah. Well, yeah. The, the, we, the loan sharks, you, you figure well, out we, where... we, we got, a, we got yeah. a federal reserve system yeah. and an interest system that is, becomes usurious. But well, credit card companies well, are vigorous. Well, or, of course. Or, 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 you know but but do you know what happened there? Yeah. The, uh, the, the banks and the credit card companies, which are the same interests, basically, yeah, you're right. wound up going to two states, Delaware and South Dakota. And yeah, the for reason for that is that neither of those two states had a law prohibiting usury. Is that, 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 that's very interesting. Now, here's what happened beyond that. Okay. Now, yeah. when the bank that is has its headquarters in New York but calls itself a Delaware bank, yeah. they, they start marketing their Delaware financial product mm -hmm. throughout the 50 states in the United States. Right, right. And they are protected, according to a Supreme Court decision, mm -hmm. from local laws that would interfere with their activities on a statewide basis. Which would so be they, the Supreme Court held that you cannot apply the local usury laws against these, fina these federal financial institutions. That's so they are really yeah, interesting. They yeah. are free to charge as much as they want. Uh -huh. Now, what I'm saying yeah, here, ahead, yeah. what I think mm. ought to be done here is that it, it's criminal usury in New York to charge more than 25 percent. And, and we, so. we know it's criminal. Yeah, it's it criminal. is criminal. Yeah, criminal. Oh, wait a minute. You said the they statute, the penal if they're, law. If they're incorporated in Delaware, they can't let they, that they law apply? They charge 31%, percent No, but that, that wouldn't apply if you were doing business in New well, York from a Delaware-based corporate. Well, the Supreme Court said that the New York law doesn't apply. Really? The laws of the states do not apply when you are a bank, a federally licensed bank, uh, a, f a federal uh, a credit card company acting nationally. Uh -huh. When you're regulated by the federal institutions, you can't apply the usury mm -hmm. laws. W w when the Supreme was Court that? decision when said that. When did that come? Oh, the, do you remember? Or I don't. It uh, was Mark, it 19th Mark century? Case? Was no, it no. I, no. I think it was probably 20 years ago. I'm not sure of the okay, date. Okay, okay, okay. But they, they held that the banks are free to charge anything they want and the credit card companies are free to charge. So New York State has a law. It's called P New York Penal Law, Section 190.40. Mm -hmm. And it says any loan that you give with annual interest in excess of 25% is criminally usurious, and it's a felony to, to be g giving a loan uh, in that way. Well, how come there are some loans that do go over that? Well, if, if you they accept the banking. Even that statute says that if you're a bank, and, and we're, you only have to give back the interest. Mm -hmm. But if you're not a bank, mm -hmm. and if you're not protected under that federal decision, mm -hmm. the forfeiture, the, you lose the whole loan. So if you lent somebody $10 million right. and had you usurious charge, mm -hmm. VIG, mm -hmm. in excess, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. then you lose the whole loan. You don't get your money back. You're you, going to call, the the film, call the film Big VIG? Well, I would like to call it Big Vig and go over great all of the big. great Big Vig. Yeah, right. Great Big, great big, 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 big yeah. is a little more poetic, <laughs> yeah. I think. Yeah. And then, and then go over like, like I think Moore missed his chance to talk about like Vig in a greater sense because yeah. Vig is what's pulling us down. Mm -hmm. Vig is what makes the rich richer, and it's what impoverishes us because we 
pay the VIG. Now, VIG is yeah. something more than just profit. It, it, yeah, reasonable or profit is return. not VIG. Reasonable profit is not VIG. Okay, that's it. A, it's okay. where someone has a license to be the only person to sell hammers to the government. They don't charge. Fee. They don't charge a reasonable markup. Oh no. They they charge a thousand dollars a hammer. Right. So uh, nine hundred eighty dollars. They got to get a lot of money to stuff in those Nine hundred eighty dollars is vague. Yeah. They get a, they got to make a lot of money to right. stuff in those congressmen's pockets. Right. Of course. Yeah. Right. So there I calculate that for every thousand dollars that a congressman gets, senator, uh, uh, House of Representatives member gets, that there's something like ten million dollars given away. For every thousand dollars of il of campaign contribution, right. it's on the order of, of, of such an astronomical number uh -huh. that we would be much better off if we could change things and merely give members of Congress five percent of the growth of the economy and let them divide it up any way they want. That's an interesting. Yeah, that, that's what we should do. That's what. Yeah. That's the way you think yeah. they ought to be compensated yeah. for I, their it's service. It's better than ruining the economy. Well. Wouldn't you rather have ninety-five percent of a growing economy mm -hmm. than a hundred than than the the me, the meager percentage that we have now of a declining economy? Well, uh, yes, I what, would. What would you do? There's many things I'd like if, to see other than what is. If you could get five percent yeah. of a trillion, trillion, trillion dollars worth of assets. That would be Ev Dirksen. Would I don't know what money. it would be. Yeah. That'd be real money. Yeah. So I don't mind having 95 percent of that huge amount of money allocated to all the people. Let's give the congressman big directly. Let's not give big to the banks. Let's just give it to Congress. And disallow campaign finance. Right. And just yeah. and then That's and then big change. Well, You're talking course. about big change. A there, big change. Yeah. Big big change. Speaking yeah. of which, I wonder if we can cast back over history and so sure. forth. We've been here a couple thousand years, sure. humanity, and all of the wisdom schools. Whether it's um, I don't know, you know, Judaic, Christian, Buddhist, Ta Tao, Shinto, whatever. Money changing. They all they all in a certain sense uh, argued against temple. or proscribed. Yeah. Usury. Money changing at the temple. Went, and he threw the money changers right, out of the right, temple, right? right? Jesus yeah. did and everything. But said, how did we get around that? How was it that we got around it? Did it apply in Rome? Did it apply in uh, feudal Europe? Did it apply out of the historical pattern? Because as I cast back over history, it seems to me like we have never had a really just system, at least since uh, Oriental despotism, you know, until, you know, Wichtogel and all that about, you know, civilization, you've always got a few people run everything and everybody else are like serfs on a feudal state wallowing around in the mud. And it all goes to the people at the top, whether they're emperors or kings or now bankers and so forth. So was there ever a golden age when things were set up right that we could repair to, like in a renaissance way of thinking? Or do we have to look to the future to get something that's relative to what the future does require rather than reifying all the outdated institutions we've inherited, particularly around this yeah. crucial question coming out of Brooklyn of the big vig. I, I would suspect that a, a tribal economy would have a fair allocation of work and of, it, but it, it may be more communistic and therefore many people would, would resent and, and feel that that is suspicious if hunting people, and gathering, yeah, hunting and gathering, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah it, we don't it, know very well. Yeah, we, we don't, don't know, records, but yeah. I think that there was probably a better allocation there. Well, maybe. maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah. I think the the elder people would would take over, and then the new elders would uh, show up. And when a person was too old to do anything, he knew that he had to go out into the woods and die. You know, <laughs> or on an ice floe up in, <laughs> yeah, the, in yeah. Canada. Yeah, I don't know. You don't think it was the guy with the big stick hit everybody on the head and took everything? Well, I you know, think out I think in in the wild, it, you know, it uh, happened. Uh, I think like with Burke. industrialization, when yeah. you could steal from one market and and deliver to another, and 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 use transportation, uh, monopolize transportation to yeah. increase the value. The the what we had mm -hmm. is we, we've always had, I think, a failure of our laws to catch up to what is really going on. Like, can you imagine the people ruining the economy by mm. having? Gambling, wi which is only that's what they did, in spite of all the laws that prohibit gambling, these right. instruments that have ruined our economy were yeah. pure gambling instruments. Now you're talking they're derivative void. swaps and they're stuff. Yeah, you're yeah, they're void under law. Well, I don't think they're void. They were very operative. They're gambling. No, I don't. Well, if I may, yeah. I think it's important. I saw the people yeah. on the other day talking about it because uh, the economy, uh, you know, the swaps and derivatives. I did programs with the people there and everything, and I know a lot of bankers and so. It was a way of dealing with risk in the economic order. It was like insurance, like uh, Mr. Soros. He will, one thing. he will, he will deal with the uh, flux. You got a ten million dollar project, 
and you're going to get a currency exchange a fluctuation in terms of the deal. You want to have some insurance to do let, away let me, with let me the explain why you're wrong. unavoidable risk things that would apply. And it's just like insurance. Let, let me explain why you're wrong. Okay. What is, a what is one critical doctrine in insurance that you're forgetting about? Well, I'm thinking about we need some reinsurance you have at the no, governmental level. You're forgetting level. about insurable risk. If a person does not have an insurable risk, he can't get insurance. These credit default swaps were given to people that had no interest in the outcome. They were pure gambling instruments. Well, I'm, if I may, I you know, know some bankers. Some people had an interest, but not all. Well, I know the people. If you were doing a large contract, $100 million of water contract or yeah. something, and you didn't have a derivative clause, yeah. you'd be sued yeah, for malpractice. No, and it was all in the private yeah, sector what, what because I'm the governmental system, the system, wasn't dealing with that issue of insurance. Here, and here's, um, here's your problem. And also the backing up of the Federal Reserve System against that. You get that whole thing As built in, and it's not dealt with. With. As a philosopher, you're making a major mistake here. Oh, well, that's not the first okay. time. Okay, and that I made is a mistake. That you're, you're using an example mm. to prove the point. And okay. this example that mm. you're using is not the regular case. Okay. It started off where there was a, a valid economic reason to have insurable interests and to give them credit default swaps and all that. Yeah. But others were then coming in and buying them without having any reason to do it other than to gamble. And that, w that went off like crazy, and they started selling that so that the non the, where there was no insurable interest became 99%, and the 1% that you're saying mm. was there was lost. You think and, it and got that out of sync, right? That, that's, that's well, it was all done in the private sector because the government systems do not have some way, like the Federal Reserve and so forth. We, and the capital assets, talking about VIG and the system and right, injustice right. and everything, unjust and everything, the capital assets, which are increasingly responsible for production through time and become also very productive in terms of being able to have a greater number of people who at the level of capability could be seen to be haves and so forth, but the capital assets, which are increasingly responsible in a ratio with labor, are all owned by a tiny plutocratic class. That tax cut that Mr. Uh, Bush put in, it didn't even go, it didn't even go to the upper 1%, not even the 110%, some again, it overwhelmingly went to one one hundredth of one percent of the capital owners in the American economy. It's a plutocracy. You hit and ran on a point, and I'm not going to let you get away with it. Okay, I think good. you did it deliberately. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> and, yeah, and, maybe. And, and I don't you, know. You, you were saying, in yeah. effect, and then you ran away from that point, okay. that we didn't have any regulation of this, and therefore it ran away because we didn't have the institutions to govern it. We don't but, have But that isn't true, we, okay. because all of these were mm -hmm. securities, and they were governed by the Securities Act of 1933, they were governed by the Securities Exchange Act of 1934, okay. and nobody at the SEC did anything about it. They That's allowed true. these instruments, yeah. and they didn't regulate them. They mm. should have. Yeah. And oh, they yeah, allowed and they banks, didn't and the banking, they didn't enforce and the the banking yeah. interests were allowed to have risks that were so phenomenal that it, it sunk the banks and it sunk the country, mm. and, and our regulators didn't do a damn thing about it. So our government has failed us here. And the, and the reason that the government failed us is that the government is not who you think it is. The government The is government is the people who were being regulated. Um, They're the government. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right, right. Well, that's of course, uh, when we have that, what do you expect? But you, yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, it's a fox watching the hen. That's right. And that's the way it is. That, and I it mean, still is. And that's the yeah. way it's always been, well, in a very real sense. I don't know that, that we have any golden era that we can go back to, because we had robber barons, and we had, you know, Teddy Roosevelt came along and all of that. But it's just, what well the point being really is that they don't have a system, this system that they claim is legitimate, historically, right. let's say the United States, right. and they're running dog allies, if you want to be Marxian right. or something like that. They're all cottoning on to the view of the world and the universe and human nature and all the human participation and all of that, that they say is historically legitimate to be protected in advance, where it looks like it, He's going to put 30,000 troops into Afghanistan, for crying out loud. But anyway, that kind of thing is not adequate to what the future requires. Let, let me point we out. We have to go to the future to find the model. Let, we can't let, find I, it by reifying the, let history. Let me tell you what the future is for the people that own the VIG. Oh, well, that's very so good. Let me tell you what it is. Okay, tell me. They have an interest in seeing that there are very few jobs in America. Why? Well, Why? Why do you think that's true? At least it looks that way because the, uh, the number of jobs is diminishing steadily and we're doing nothing about it but why do you think they have an interest in seeing fewer jobs in america well now i don't know that they would i don't see why they would bother because with that what does it much. take to to pay for a mortgage and and 
rent and all of the costs of living in America? How can they pay people a living wage in America mm -hmm. and make any money when they can find somebody to do the work for one-tenth as much in another country? Like China. Yes. Or so so they yeah. have an interest absolutely in transferring jobs to other countries. And guess what? That's exactly what they've been doing. If I may. Yes. If I may, yeah. Consul. Yeah that uh, John Maynard Keynes, who is somebody worth paying attention to in terms of the economic theory right. that informs mightily the political process. Yeah. So economic theory is what you're looking at, and you've got all the way from, you know, John Maynard Keynes said, and I think if I said it earlier in the program, I don't know, we may have done it before the tape was running, wrote a letter to his grandchildren. It's interesting, because when we had the Great Depression, the lagging indicator was employment. Okay, right. that comes last because they got to get their capital base built up, the yeah. capital accumulation and everything like that coming out of a depression. And then, so now with there, you see a lot of thing in the press now that what we're in now is a jobless recovery. Yeah. John Maynard Keynes argued in a letter to his grandchildren in 1930, in their maturity, which would be now, that you're going to be confronted. The world is going to be confronted with something called um, uh, technologically induced massive unemployment as the capital instruments producing wealth outrun the input of labor, and yet the labor theory of value informs virtually all economic theory, from, from Adam Smith to Keynes to Schumpeter, all the way, that we're going to distribute income to the people, not through some ownership of a robot or something that's producing tremendous wealth or capital instrument. It's all held by a tiny plutocratic so, so, so class. So what you're saying is that We need a new system that's going to build some way of distributing income other than wages, but wages and the work ethic and all of that, it's harder to get around that than it was to get around Galileo saying we weren't the center mm -hmm. of the universe. In I, a certain I, I've sense. got a solution. A big change. I've got a I solution. I know you do yeah, have one about yeah, tasks yeah, and things. Yeah. The but do you understand what I'm I, saying? I do. Well, and it's yeah. never mentioned. Well, we need an alternative way of distributing here, buying power here, to the people to be able the way to clear the market. It. If you can recognize that the major corporations are not the ones that create jobs, do you agree with that? Oh, is, absolutely. Is, we all small know that, business. right? Yeah, small business. Okay. Entrepreneurs what, like what, yourself. What is the smallest possible unit of business? Individual, I that would correct, say. Correct, right. Yeah. And what does my database try to do? Your database, your da you, his database is so rich in so many different directions, right. it's like a... But, but it's rich for the individual. Thing. Yeah, in other words, that's I'm right. Trying, You're very I'm trying to individual. create reform in business by having everyone become a small business person. I know. And letting them grow from that point. Let's start out by doing something constructive. Now, what is it that you know how to do? What is it I know how to do? And I want people to list 500 different things that they can do and would like to do for money. That's right. On my database. Like Craigslist. Right, like yeah. Craigslist. Uh -huh. And then someone can search and put in their own zip code, 10019, and mm. search for somebody within 3.5 miles that can tutor quantum mechanics yeah. high school level. Or, or fix the or whatever. Or fix the air so conditioning there's a, there's a billion yeah. different tasks right. that we can look for. Right. So if we have a task database, we yeah. no longer have to wait for Walmart to hire us at $8 an hour. So you don't have to have all the... And you all don't need the, that. You don't need employment. You, need that. you need a, a way of what getting would happen, tasks done. What yeah. would happen to the tax base, mm -hmm. however, yeah. if everyone became a small business person? Let mm. me ask another question first. That's an interesting Let me premise. ask another question first. Well, yeah. How much money do the largest corporations pay in taxes in percentage of the of the income they get in? I'm not even not sure. Not much, you right? Know, and I don't think so. Not I much. Not, it's not, just not they, get, they get tax lawyers who can get about, around it. Yeah. Isn't it just about as much as a small businessman pays in taxes? Which you would is, know better which than is I. Nothing. You would know better small than I. Why yeah. do you think they created the Alt-A mortgage? What's an alt an a alt mortgage? An alt-A mortgage was a mortgage that they gave to small business people who couldn't prove what they earned because they didn't have any profits that they showed to the government. That's very interesting. I would like to talk about what is profit, but go ahead. Okay. The alt-A mortgage was designed to allow a person who owns a gas station mm -hmm. who every year only shows $10,000 in profits. He can't buy a house if all you show is $10,000. He's showing... Let me, let me, yeah. let me develop right. that, and we're going to get back to it. Right. And you've been a successful yeah. entrepreneur. Yeah. You made yeah. a major educational yeah. thing around paralegals right. and so we can get to that right. and everything yeah. but that thing he made a profit now the profit is is that the stuff by which we accumulate capital so that we can have investment that's going to pay for itself out of his future earnings after the cost and is profit then not something that we need how and rather profit? than deriding profit you need profit in order to be able to well, accumulate capital how about profit to be able to buy a Mercedes Benz well that no no 
suppose the guy's got a yeah. business and he buys a Mercedes Benz right. and one for his it. whole family, and that comes out of the earnings of the pro of the it thing. Comes out but, of the profits. But let's say, oh, okay, let's say pay, he earnings he, and profits are the well, same. Uh, n well, I'm trying to get at that. See, the okay. earnings uh, over cost. Well, you got a business. You don't have earnings unless you have covered your costs. Yeah, you got to cover your costs, right. and then there's some, and that includes, let's say, a fleet of cars okay. for everybody. Every executive has a, a, low, a, a Lincoln or something. Earnings and profits are interchangeable. You're only really interested in whether this is after tax or before tax. That's well, your real no, issue. No, not only that, but also yeah. just the overall operation of it, the taxes there and everything. I understand. I'm talking about how do we accumulate capital? Well, uh, you know, a, a excess. To make investment above the operating cost of the operation itself. Well, and it, it, I mean it, that's it, an it, important okay, question. Okay, let, let's say that you have a monopolist that gets free capital from the government mm -hmm. in the form of a bank. They get mm. free money. They, yeah. they they borrow as much as they want. They don't pay anything. They charge you thirty eight percent interest, mm. default rate of ten thousand percent interest. Mm. And now you want to set up a little bank according across the street, y and your your capital is going to cost you. You're going to have to put your home under mortgage and try to raise uh, several hundred thousand dollars. You can't compete with the people that get free money. Sounds like that, Potter's. That bill. free money is going to yeah. is going to multiply and mm -hmm. grow, and these companies are going to grow so large that they can't be allowed to fail. That's it's where they are. It's called too big to fail. Well, that's where they are now. Yeah, that's where. And, it we're, is. and we've ex we've created more of that by in this weakness of our economy, we yeah. forced them or allowed them to merge and get even larger. Uh -huh. So we haven't done anything to detract, to take away from the evil that we've seen. We have built more evil into this. Well, it seems to be yeah. consolidating in every field. I saw some congressman on and said the only thing that was going up more than health care costs was cable bill costs. Yeah. Yeah. You used to have 50 different uh, companies in the media. It's down to five well, now. Well, but Ben Dickey is following I mean, I've, been, I've been an antitrust mm. lawyer since. I know. God yeah, bless you. Yeah. yeah. But, that's but really this important. is what the antitrust laws were designed to do right. is to stop that. Go to but, Teddy Roosevelt for the we, basis of that? We have a political system which, uh, which they say is supposedly going to regulate this. So every four years we're given a chance to vote on somebody, and then that somebody we vote for does what we want, right? Yeah, but they don't. Wrong. They don't. They don't. That's so what that, I'm saying. Now, now we have All to wait four more to, years. They have to con us so into in, voting for in them, so and then they can do what they want. Periods, you're going to be out of the picture. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be out of the picture. New dummies come in, mm -hmm. and they're going to be out of the picture, and mm -hmm. the thing never changes mm -hmm. because the system is set up where it doesn't work. Uh, that, yeah, I yeah, okay. with. that I agree so with. That I agree with. Nor has we the have system a way ever worked it, for the people. But we have a way of changing it. Okay. And no. that is that okay. I can create prosperity in mm -hmm. a town. Mm -hmm. I can take one how are, town. How, how are things in Lonesome, Indiana? In, 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 uh, or Lonesome, wherever it is. It, you it, had a town. It, I, I called it... Uh, uh, lonesome, uh, was it the, Lonesome, I'll, I'll Indiana? Think of it, I'll think of it. Yeah, Lonesome. Yeah. You it wasn't lo Lonesome, but it, it, it was a town. Oh, he didn't want to let it know, but yeah. there was somebody, a local person, who was willing to right. go along a, with your a, idea. In Ohio. And, 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 and involved and the attorney yeah. general yeah. Yeah. as a way yeah. of having somebody who's right. representing the people rather than representing the money interest, and also this tax I'm thing you're to talking about, and later. education. Yeah. You also had free right. education, here, or here, nearly here so. There are four things that you need to reform a town and to create prosperity in the town. Okay. Number one, you need an attorney general. To, you need to subdivide the awesome power of the attorney general of a state and bring it down to the local level where people can go into the office of the attorney general for the town and say, you know, the bank has really hurt me. Yeah, or, right. Or the prosecutors are really doing excess things. You've got to have somebody locally. Representing has, the people who has government money, oh, oh because you oh, don't have and money. access to yeah, government so you, you money. Right. He's okay. a government official, so yeah. you don't have the money to enforce your rights. Mm -hmm. The cost of enforcing rights is far beyond what anyone can afford, including myself, who's in the business of enforcing rights. Exactly, it is yeah. so costly that we need. Yeah, to we're have like it. serfs. We, we have we have criminal law being enforced, where too yeah. many people are getting executed, too many people are winding up in jail. We have the twenty-five percent of the people in prison in the world, or they might in America. It's five percent. Five percent of the world is in America, and that's five. No, no, twenty-five percent of the imprisoned population sure. of the world is America. May, maybe it is, but we have we have far more percentage-wise than any other civilized country. Right, we're, we're way above anyone else uh. because there's a profit built in. They 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 throw prisoners into a, a, a into uh, a commercial prisons mm -hmm. where they are required to work in, and are slaves and, and create products and services that really destabilize legitimate businesses. Mm -hmm. They make profits for these captive, they make big mm. for these captive interests. Great big yeah, big. Yeah, great big Maybe big. Maybe we did great yeah, big big big. big. big.
Yeah. So what That's we, a great so thing. That poetic could yeah. be used in hip-hop So what we need to do is yeah. to have a new sheriff in town, one yeah. that does not have a gun but has a law book and can go out after the people who are violating the law and have enforcement of law at the lowest level of mm -hmm. government rather than, the no rather than the non enforcement at the highest level. That could also be a source of income. It could be a source of income because, because Spitzer for the raised people. Yeah, well, you could, you could yeah. raise money by suing the wrongdoers, recapturing yeah. some of the money that was stolen from the town, and then uh, you could pay health care costs, yeah. you can reduce taxes and real estate, you can get broadband, you can get dental care, yeah. you can do a lot for a town. Or you, you, sure can could. Pay, or you, could. you can pay yeah. for the tuition for the tuition free college. Yeah, yeah that's another so thing. So yeah. uh, the second point is right. to create an equivalency college, not a real college, an well, equivalency college that is devoid of all the trappings that you know which makes you see that you have a college there. Carl, as I a understand. A big library, big grass, big mm, trucks and, right. and security people and parking mm. lots and stadia and stuff like that. You yeah. don't need that. Gazebos in if which you, you can If sing you can cut out all the excesses like that and cut it down to merely office space, chairs, blackboard, chalk, Teacher curriculum, students. That's it. And internet or no? Well, you can. You yeah. you definitely yeah, could use. You use the MIT uh, materials. They for put example. all the yeah. best people. They put their yeah. whole curriculum, MIT, on sure. the internet for free sure. now. Yeah. And yeah. you were a graduate yeah. of the great Harvard Law yes. School. Congratulations yeah. on you. having done that, yeah. given your early record. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, you did that even more so okay. because you fought against the so, thing. So you can but have a they free college in a town. You can have a tuition-free college that only costs two thousand dollars a year per student. Mm -hmm. And you can elevate every single person in the town way beyond the average of any other town. Mm -hmm. You can have such phenomenal educational success uh -huh. at really no cost to uh -huh. speak of. Right. That why aren't we doing it? Thirdly, we need to have an area-wide payroll administrator so that small businesses can have their payroll handled efficiently with a single in a disability insurance policy, s single workman's comp policy. For everybody. That for, to cover everyone. Right. And right. that way, when I, as a small businessman, have to stop payroll, I don't have to terminate any policies. That's right. So that's an important thing from, from my perspective. If you've never met a payroll, you don't know what I'm talking about. I never did. But I no. did meet a payroll. Yeah, I know you and, did. You and, did and it for a long time. Right. You did it successfully. That's right. He had a major school yeah, teaching. Yeah, he began. Yeah, he was the yeah, one who began yeah, entrepreneurially. Yeah. The training of paralegals, yeah, which has yeah, become yeah. very, very important, and, and I it went for decades. Yeah, I, think, I would I, successfully. Years. Congratulations I on would not, having met a payroll. Do you know that I did not uh, allow for the first ten years? I did not allow anyone to enter the course that was not a college graduate. Is that right? I taught you at the post-secondary level. I taught oh. at the college graduate level. Right. And I had the local chief of police downtown mm -hmm. take my course. Oh. I had others coming in from all over the country yeah. taking the course. Yeah. My first student was a Chinese lawyer, seventy-two years old. Who God. Yeah, he, yeah, he right. took the course. It was a fabulous course. And it went for quite a long yeah, time. 18 years. Yeah, that's yeah. a long yeah, time to meet a payroll. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. I admire yeah. anybody who yeah. can meet a payroll. It is tough, though. I have a hell of a time it meeting the local So that's the, that's the third point. Now, mm. the fourth point is the best of all, mm. and that is that we need to have a database of tasks that everyone in the town is willing to perform for money or for love if they want to give their services okay, away. No barter. I'm not interested there. in barter. There's a big difference. There. I'm not interested in barter. Uh, I, if, you, okay. if, if you have skills that you would like to offer in the marketplace, I don't care whether you offer them for money or not. Mm -hmm. Just make them available. People will offer you money for you to do it. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to do it, they'll offer you money and you'll say, oh, well, okay, if you really want it that badly and mm -hmm. you're willing to pay me $10,000, I'll do it. Beatles made yeah. a song, if you can't buy me love. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, you know, everything yeah. is for free. Everything yeah. is for free. We'll do it because you want to. Back in those days, I can remember we used to have a place up in New Paltz where I taught, and if you had your car broke down, yeah. the thing you do is you go to the, uh, the Cosmo Cafe, a, a Greek diner right, where you go, right. and you sit down, and you just have a cup, two or three or four cups of coffee until finally Joe came in, and Joe would say, what, well, you got a problem? We'll go out and fix it. They right. go out and fix it, and that's it. Right. You know, and they would exchange it. They would be done yeah. informally and everything so like that. So here and if you're doing things for, for that reason is different than if you say, or in sex, Okay. The if you have sex with somebody because yeah. there's really something going on at a level of emotional involvement and right. so forth, is different than if you pay them a couple thousand dollars for that. Do you understand? Money is dirty. Okay, here, here's, the, here's the way that this reform, which is the most important reform of all, we don't need jobs in America, we need my database marketed. Now, if well, I, I think it might be a little more complicated because it's the input to production has shifted. All the, we needed yeah. jobs. We need on the frontier. We needed people that would do things. Yeah. Uh, my daddy was a grand was a, a union organizer in yeah. Detroit. 
They had to get the union. They had to have people look, on the assembly line look, to make Ford. Look, a, a but person people, could, people's contribution to con to uh, economic uh, production is increasing to the vanishing okay. point in real terms, okay. and it can be measured but, and modeled. But, 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 and we have a system that distributes income to people through their okay, labor, but, their activities, let me, let me rather explain. than having, one thing we want to avoid, you can't let them have an ownership stake of a combine that produces enough wheat to let, feed let the world, because that would make them independent let, of the let, economic let, forces that keep everybody let, in let place. Let me ask you something. Do you think that I put in an effort every day? I, you, you, do you are do the you, hardest you, working person you, I've you ever think, met in do, my life. Do you think that and a person who works at Walmart puts in an effort every day? I guess they probably they do. do. They yeah, do. Yeah, and they Walmart, under, under uh, extreme pressure. Yeah. So that it, 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 people can work for a living as an employee, or they can be self-employed and still we're working. Well, how about if so you the had problem a is how can we put people to work if the system of employment, where you become a, a, a possessor of a job mm -hmm. and you have a salary and mm -hmm. you have wages and payroll deductions, mm. if if we can then square that away and make it happen by making people self-employed. That's how we're going to generate well, why employment use, in America. Why use the word employed? Suppose you well, have, let's just say, it's let's a, just it's say. It's a commonly let's used just term. Say, I know, yeah. but let's just say there are charts and models that show that 90% yeah. of the production in the American economy has nothing to do with labor or intellectual or physical input by human beings. Okay. It's capital assets. They're all owned by smart people. If you own the back hubcap of a combine that's producing all kinds of wheat, yeah. and you have every week you go to your bank account, there is money comes to you yeah. because you own a piece of what's producing the wealth. Yeah. Yeah. And if you have that, then you have independence to do what it is you want to do, like fix Charlie's car. Okay, but if, if you know, do you understand it's a I, different I do, kind of but, thing but rather than everything know, being do you done know through money? Can in a small town, a person can manufacture energy. And so yeah, that's they're, they're, coming and, now. and we have to do that. Mm -hmm. So that the model where you own stock in ESSO or something like that or in, in an oil company well, doesn't have to be the case. It's, it's for those that aren't interested in doing what needs to be done. Well, you're more yeah. along the line, if I may, of Mr. Shumpeter. Yeah. I think Shumpeter yeah. says creative entrepreneur, and he, yeah. he, he had a great uh, battle yeah. with Keynes. And everything, and we're still have, we're not over yeah. Keynes now. We don't know what's inform. What's the theory that's informing Mr. Obama and Geithner and Mr. Paulson and all the rest the rich, of them to make it's, the rich it, richer? That's all. Well, no, but it's yeah. also reifying the institutions that have worked out of the past. They're reifying the outdated institutions how, and assumptions. How does that differ from what I've said? Well, though. something has changed in terms of the, or, the 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 way in which things are done. And the, there's been a major quality, like it took. 400 years to get over the idea that Galileo came along and said the system that you're living under and calling legitimate is no longer relevant to what the future requires is something new. Well, and we're not making that. It's not even coming up in the intellectual community. Remember the professor at, at, I think, Columbia Law School named Burley who complained about capitalism and that we have to be careful that, that the, there's a concentration of capital in the hands of fewer and fewer people. He okay. railed about that back Burley? in the Burley, B-E-R-L-E. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, he, I do. He railed Adolf? about that. No. Yes. Yes, Adolf, that's right. yeah. I've read that stuff. Yeah. He railed back, about yeah. that back I in did. the 50s. Yes, right, okay. okay. That's 50 uh, some odd years Mortimer ago, Adler more than that, too, yeah. yeah. And we've done nothing about it. Mm -hmm. and, that's right. And, and the system it's keeps too big, getting. It's too well, big an issue. Okay, it's too disruptive of the way in which we get do, our identity. Do you, and do, you, do you agree that most people think we need legislative change or constitutional amendments? I don't really know. I think we need new intellectual understanding of okay, what the hell's going okay. on. Okay, I do not agree mm -hmm. that we can get statutory changes or that we can get constitutional amendments in time. Okay. I believe that we're going to have to do what can be done under present law. Okay, that's right. You're yeah. much more yeah. practical. I'm practical. Yeah, right. That's good. That's and good. and yeah. what I'm yeah. saying can that's be good. done. Yeah, absolutely. And that's it a should good be done. idea. That's and a it good should idea. be done. Yeah, so absolutely. we should we could put everyone to work. Now here's what happens. Yeah, okay. I, I, I'm gonna go into a town and I've chosen, you know, one town in upstate It's called New York. Lonesome. We don't want to say yeah, where it is yeah. because he's dealing with local So things. so what I'm going to do is hire ten people and and have them knock on every door of a town of seventy five hundred. There's only one third of that in homes, 2,500 homes. You're talking the actual numbers for this 2,500 homes. This is an actual real place, roughly, not a model. Yeah, yeah, roughly. So mm. 2,500 homes, 10 people only have to knock on 250 homes in the course of a month or two. Okay. And they're going to try to sign up everyone in that home with an email address mm -hmm. and teach them how to 
do things that need to be done if they if they're not computer literate yeah. and to have a mailing list of everyone in the town mm -hmm. and to have everyone registered with about 500 tasks mm -hmm. that they're willing to perform for money once I get a database yeah. for that town, I'm yeah. going to buy local advertising at a dollar per Again, minute. Again, Craigslist. And no, no, no. Local advertising okay, at a dollar yeah. a minute, okay. and it's going to be in radio and television and newspaper that will be a 25-mile radius it's around doable. the town. It's doable. How, much, yeah. how many square miles is 25-mile radius, roughly? I don't know. 2,000. 2,000 okay, square thank miles. You. Okay, yeah. A little uh -huh. bit less than that. Yeah, okay. 2,000 square miles mm. of advertising right. to bring money into that little town right. that's going to make them wealthy. That could be they're going to pay their mortgages. That could be a and model. the people that are buying those services are going to say, hey, I want some of that too. Right. It's going to spread. Are you going to have an attorney general to yes, help enforce those Yes, absolutely. Is that essential? Yes. So does you it want have those to four be a items. combination of things before it could it work? It doesn't have to be, but, no. it, but the, the, it's ideal. Those four points that I've selected yeah. are critical. One is a better education for all. Mm. Another is enforcement of law in favor of us to enforce our rights instead of our duties. In, in, in the other is employment. The, in favor of the people. Right. And the other is to assist small people. Can we small. avoid employment or not? Is that wrong? Well, uh, 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 forget the word tax. employment. Yeah, it's the thing that it, 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 it's, the, it's the labor theory it's of the, value. It's, that it's, I'm it's on. trying to put people to work, and you call it employment. I call it putting people to work. Well, I, call I don't it care doing whether it's employment or self-employment. Yeah. I want people to be working. I would like the yeah. people to be wealthy enough to where they didn't have to think about how they're going to get money. Well, you're going to have that no, in the first would, town. Is that something that we have to come to? The first town, like abundance, that there is enough. Because if you do the modeling on the positive yeah. side as the opposite of the destructive capability of the weapon systems, yeah. particularly germ, have become species lethal. I believe there's modeling. On the other side, we have gotten to a point where out of history, there's never been enough, but we've gained in the percentage of the world population that we could see because of our technological extension, the percentage of the population of the world that could be seen to be have Here, the here's definition a solution. of it. Can we get past the yes, you know, ironclad Here, here's, laws here's of what scarcity? Will happen. In, That's what in, I think in we're going to have to do, particularly towns. if we're thinking out 500 years. It, we're not still going to be worrying about, I will do something good for you if you give me $500. Don't worry about the nation. Don't worry about the global situation. Worry about my small town. Okay, if you can bring them. prosperity to that small town, you're going to have an evolution of exactly well, what you want. Well, it would be a model. In that town, you're right. going to have people saying, you know, I'm earning too much money now. Mm. Let me try to help the rest of the town by having free this and free that. You're going to have people, you're going to have a resurgence of social services available yeah. that will be generated by the, by the, by the, the wealth of the town because it's, it, it's producing something. We're mm. not producing here. Mm. We are, we well, have, we have we to go through this phase yeah. where there's going to be money exchange. Well, you see, that's it. Yeah, thing. I, don't, I wouldn't so worry too much about that. You're going to start selling sex. You're going to start selling. I, 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 you're not going to have the people just go and fix the car I, because he can fix <coughs> the car. He knows how to do it. Sam knows look, how to I'm, fix I'm the car. Bill to, knows how to do electricity, look, and they just I, do it. I would prefer to have most of these things like marijuana, gambling, sex. I'd prefer to have it really unregulated, to have it be safe, but, but not to have all the restrictions. Why do we have restrictions on gambling? Only so that the state and other can private interests money. can get big. That's all. Yeah, but but, but if you had competition in gambling, you know what would happen? The slot machines would be set at 101 mm. percent, and and restaurants would put them in and hope that people would come in to play in order to win on the machine and then buy the food right. in the and restaurant. Right, and that's because one guy can right. get an advantage over right. another, and right. that's the way the game competition. is. Competition and the only value, right. the you only value. When you come down to it, in the way the world is organized <coughs> now, the one that trumps everything else right. is money. That's the only value. Well. That's the only thing we got. <coughs> it's a common denominator, That's but but a town could get away from everything. that. Now, yeah. are we going to still be? Let's just think instead of thinking practical. Okay. I hate practical. Okay. I, you know, but if you think a thousand years from now, are we going to be saying, if I give you enough coconuts, will you do the right thing for me, or are we going to be beyond <coughs> that? <coughs> Humanity is going to get beyond the strictures of who's going to get the best and fight over scarce resources because we're going to have an overwhelming abundance of everything where those issues are not going to be so paramount as they have been and continue to be. And that's what we've got to get over. We've transcended scarcity. You know what I, you know what I want to say? In terms of our extended capability, <coughs> and we're going to have to do that if we're going to survive as a species. I want to say It's existentially see. significant and, and absolutely necessary, and it's never brought up even by intellectuals. E even 50 years from now, I want to see. You know who Bush 1 is? 
and Bush two. <laughs> yeah. I want to see if Obama is going to be called Bush three. Right. Okay. You know, well, that's what I want to see. It won't. It'll only take. What's informing him? Yeah. I mean, what is yeah. the economic theory? He says, "Oh, we got to we got to get everybody employed. Yeah. We got to get everybody working They're out in the field." They're not and doing it though. They're not doing it. And they don't have yeah. any extension. Yeah. And the assets that are producing the wealth, displacing the people yeah. in a long term trend yeah. beyond outsourcing. Is all being held by a tiny plutocratic right. class. We can How long change are we that. Put we can up change that in a small town. A small town. In can one change small it. town, yep. you can do. It. You don't You're going to you use a municipal credit union instead of a local, instead of a national bank. Is this like Pottersville? Well, it, it'd be. You're going to be, Potters, You know, from yeah. uh, I know, the I know, sure, life. of course. And you got Mr. Yeah. Pottersville, sure. Lionel Barrymore, great sure. actor, yeah. wasn't he? Really yeah. good, yeah. and really a bastard. Yeah. And everything. you go into Pottersville, and you're going to go in, and James Jimmy Stewart. Stewart's going to be yeah. the good guy, and everything. Yeah. Is that the vision you have? I, what you I have is an envision of self. I have an envision yeah. of self-interest where the town can be prosperous if they do what I'm saying, and it will eliminate the excesses, and will create so much, where so much added wealth for the town that they will be champing at the bit trying to find good things to do. They will mm -hmm. be expanding. They're, they're so then the good things, yeah. they, they will be affluent. Now, and, are we going to be able to have a, are we going to be, affluence is a strong term. Are we going to be have, uh, are we, it's going to be essential that we come up with a system where the people are going to be able to be free to do what they want to do rather than what a taskmaster within an organized mm -hmm. principle. We have a fascist organization of society. Yeah. Few people own all the assets. They set up the template for all the institutions, the funding. Everything is set up, politically bought. Everything like it's fascist, and we're going to do that, and we're going to have to have a new system, okay, and it doesn't come forth. But in but any you're way. not you're not taking into account the fact that, and I'm not picking on any one firm, but no, let's say that that in this model town there will be no more Nikes. That would be showing a disrespect for what the towns. Temperament is. Nikes will be there if they can undersell whatever you're going to produce. Well, they, they organic no, farming well, or they may, they How are you going to compete well, with the big uh, uh, economies of scale? Because you're, you're allowed to. Yeah. You can create energy, first of all. The, yeah. you, you have a right to create energy, and you can do it. You, you can like, uh, out of renewable energy. energy. Yeah, renewable you can stuff. renewable. Just yeah, all renewable. Yeah, but they're going to be able to turn off photovoltaics in a factory. They don't need people. That's the thing. I, I, people are becoming obsolete. I, I in terms understand of that, but they but they will find people activities. People are going to have to get involved with the things of civilization, they will like find art things and things that really matter. But and they that's will the do only that. Some, that's the only thing you have anything to do. But they only let a little something go for things that are really let, let, creative. Let, let me ask right now: What is the market for a person who knows art? Very little. Very right? bad. Very, very that's bad. That's what I'm trying but, to but, say. But it will improve if people have time on their hands. It will It'll improve be a change. if yeah. everybody has income right. apart. Well, from we've got to create both. And don't have to go out and do what Master tells them to have bread to well, eat and maybe a little pound cake on Sunday like a good wage this slave can be or done. a serf a in a feudal town, estate. A small town can create that opportunity. You think so? The, na nationally, we can't do it because we have too much I don't think we can only do it. Yeah. Not, national is too small. National is too, no. No, national yeah. is even too small, Carl. Right. It's got to be the whole world, that, that's and it's where got you're, to be a recognition as long as you of this As long as, as you believe that, nothing will ever happen. I don't think so. You're, I you're think a philosopher at the grand level, but the grand stuff doesn't happen. Well, we're you talking You can make a change at the local level. I can walk in and knock on every door and I can make, make more change than you. You know what better change we need, but I can create change that's good yeah. at a local level. I'd like and, to go and with that's, you on some that's of those doors. I'd like to go yeah. and knock with yeah. you on some of those doors. I will. Work together I will. I'm going to knock on those goddamn doors. Everything, because all I'm going to do is just keep turning out tell you. I'm still waiting, <laughs> I'm still waiting for, an, uh, you know, what's his name? Joyce said history is a nightmare. It's a nightmare <laughs> of injustice and and. and Grammed up capability. Yeah. You got to have a system where everybody can be doing what they want it, to do, it can rather than yeah. being uh, answerable to some authority figure that will tell them what they have to do, and or and if they don't, they're going to starve. Well, it, what kind of slavery is that? The that people we put in my model We're town. Enslaved. We need an abolitionist movement. The people in my on model the world town. scale. The people in China are being exploited. The people in India are being exploited. The people in Europe. The people in America are being exploited. And why do we put you know up what, with you it? Know as what's that there's going to be pressure brought on people in my model town who okay. continue to work for the, the Walmart. <laughs> okay. They're going to say, what? You yeah. work for Walmart? Are you Why, you Why know, would you ever work for Walmart? You know, it costs more, it costs more yeah. to put somebody in prison than it does to send them to Harvard. Well, but and they don't but no, even, you, now no, in no, the no, prisons no, stop, they Stop, stop, stop. Oh. You're missing a point. Mm. It costs more money, right? 
I think it wrong. does. I'm not wrong. Sure. That's wrong. big. It goes to somebody. That money that you're talking about oh, is back big. Back to the big, big, big. big. That's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> somebody right. gets that money. Well, so. you know, you were there. It used yeah. to be you could go to college, and now they've got also they got the best. There's teachers, and then there's uh, scholars, right? Yeah. And they're all bought off. Yeah. You know, you know because what the universities are bought off. I don't know what he, he wants gets to get. Two thousand dollars an hour. That's to a teach. good price. You know why? He only teaches a hundred hours a year, and he gets two hundred thousand a year. Okay, now yeah. that's sort of out of whack with things. But they also now they have good teachers at each of these Ivy League institutions and so forth, and they are now putting the best teachers. And there's some people who can help. really teach. No, you, but they put it for free on the, college, the internet. When you graduate, so, so from why does okay. anybody go to Harvard? Why does anybody go to a, a school? They're trying to make connections with somebody so they can make real good money to live better and but that whole thing do you know that we've reached a point now where when you pay 60,000 a year for college that mm. you cannot possibly earn on the average enough to pay off the loan no they would if you go to wall street you well, do that, that in if a year. you steal if you yeah, steal they, money, yeah well sure. that's where you can course, steal yeah, yeah you yeah. can and so we let them run sure. things and everything that's the big uh, 800,000 a, a, a year bonus is big Mm -hmm. It's not earned. It's big. So what's the name of the movie again? The Great Big the Big? The Great Big Big. The Great Big Big <laughs> Big Big Big. big, 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 big. You could use that good. in a hip-hop song. You know, that That'll could be, be used really good. It should be short thing, GBB. We pick up yeah. because that's how they're all making great the money. Big, big. Anyway, I think we agreed that the system is pretty fouled up. And you've been fighting for justice ever since I can remember. Yeah. And fighting tirelessly yeah. for it. And an entrepreneurial spirit and everything. Yeah. And that's really good. It should be totally encouraged. work out. That kind of thing. You're optimistic for the human prospect. Oh, I know it's going to work out. Wait a minute. You're optimistic for the human prospect. Uh, if we can go into a town and start change there, mm -hmm. and, and I've had trouble breaking into a town. I only had one town, Hopeless, <laughs> Indiana. Was a, that oh, was an yeah, but wait a minute. It wasn't Indiana. <laughs> I know, it was it, Ohio. It was just, it, it was it's Ohio. like uh, Howard Hill, right? It it's Ohio. like Howard Hill, low uh, hopeless, <laughs> and because that's a place to begin, and that that's a great thing, Hopeless, <laughs> Indiana. Yeah, right. Yeah, but go ahead. Yeah. Well, so if mm. we can just take one town, I tried in Woodstock, New York. I spent four hours with the town manager, and yeah. he loved each of the four ideas. If he they could they take the good. reins, right? Yeah, and I and I might go back there and, and do it, but I'm going to go back in a town in New York and upstate in the in the. Uh, you don't uh, want a university town. Um. Well, I'm going to create a free university, and that's okay. in conflict with, an, uh, with a paying university. Right, they, they charge too much. They do indeed, and I don't know why anybody would go to school. I mean, w particularly when you can autodidactically learn anything you want off the internet. No, now they got no, curriculum jobs. in every field, the and it's going to get richer and richer and richer. The evil is jobs. You jobs. Won't, you won't be hired unless you have a college well, degree. Well, I agree with that. The evil, the evil, yeah, the evil beyond evil. that, yeah. the beyond that, yeah. in terms of the evil. If they're evil, is a funny term, but the beyond that, yeah, it's the labor theory of value. Yeah. That's what's got us trapped. That the only way, that, that the important thing, because the more, what you have to worry about in human affairs is the way by which people get a sense of identity. And they get a sense of identity by having a job that gives right. them, not a, it gives them money, right. and then it gives them a sense of identity. Yeah. Like so a, that a sweatshirt that says, I work at Walmart. Well, now, that what? really means that they got no, a lot of No, beyond that, no, them. but then people can get identity. If you're a really good jazz uh, rapper, you know, that yeah. can give you identity. You yeah. pull off a rig. There's all kinds of ways to get yeah. identity. But I know that when uh, Galileo came along and said that we were not the center of the universe, Hieronymus <laughs> Bosch and those paintings, it played hell and still does. Yeah when you don't have the means by which you get a sense of identity is undercut. Well, job wage earning by people is going to be laughable to a civilization 100 years from now. It's like slavery, and we don't have any of our political or intellectual leaderships talking about an alternative way of establishing capital formation for us to do what we're technologically capable of doing, creating the ability to clear the market by people having income by the way things are actually produced rather than through their labor participation. That's so ingrained in our thinking that we can't possibly get around it. All Mr. Obama said we've got to create a bunch of jobs. And or it's a jobless recovery. And clearing, Keynes warned that that's what we're coming talking into. Talking about clearing the market, some people think that there's a need to be clearing the people, to have fewer people. Well, by, that could, you know, it could yeah, be carried yeah, to that, yeah, yeah. eugenics. Yeah, it could be carried yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah but people yeah. are thinking that way. Yeah. That would be Malthusian and yeah. everything. Do you want to hear something even more yeah. real? What was the fellow who I never can remember? It keeps escaping. It comes to me. The, the limits. Uh, Malthus. Okay. We had Malthus. We had you know Paul Ehrlich, and they say that you're, uh, you know it's going to population going to grow uh, geometric, right, yeah. and the means of production or uh, feeding is right. going to arithmetic. Right. 
but it hasn't worked, except the one who was the Jay Forrester. Jay Forrester, do you, do you recall? Yeah. Jay Forrester was the intellectual force behind the limits to growth, behind Schumacher, small is beautiful, and to a lot of ecological thinking and that kind of stuff yeah. that was there. And I and 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 I had talked. I had and he admired. He was a, a system thinker. He was thinking whole system and everything. Way back in the 70s, and we'd done a thing. And Mr. Fuller, Buckminster Fuller, was one who proposed this idea: we may actually be transcending in the modeling scarcity as a reality. Now that's real hard to deal with because it's assumed to be human nature. Yeah. So and and uh, I presented that to him, and he said we never. And and then we presented it to him, and he wouldn't say it on camera. And he's passed now. He wouldn't say it on camera, but he said it off camera. He said uh, because if you've got agriculture, you got family, they have 13 because half of them die. So if you get down to where you get into industrialization, then the birth rate goes down, yeah. and then it's. Right. Be and he said the reason the birth rate goes down in the industrialized country is because everybody. Wants w rather would rather have a Buick than a baby. Right. It's essentially a mark of alienation. You're climbing up, trying to get more, and right, all that kind right. of stuff. And he said, "We've got to keep the little bastards alienated, <laughs> alienated yeah. in the sense of being c uh, concentrating on the 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 buck and all of that, right. and getting advanced like right. that. Or else, if they realize mm -hmm. that they can have the pony and the house with the pony and the creek and everything and everything." that they would decide, they, they, kids are really wonderful things. Right. They'd have a lot of kids and breed us off the planet. Right. We got it, it's a mark of alienation, the progress yeah. that comes with the increased GDP and all that. And he did that, and he, and he said, but I won't say that on camera. <laughs> so that's <laughs> a problem that's yeah. confronting us. But we may be coming to a moment yeah. of, we, the weapons are, are, are species lethal. They're gonna go into Afghanistan yeah. again, for yeah. crying yeah. out loud. They got weapons in, in Pakistan. They got weapons that are species lethal. Yeah. Since the Second World War, we didn't right, have it. Right. It's a new existential reality in Europe, in the universe, and we have to have an alternative system on the living re side and on the liberation side that we could try. And the mo the modeling for that is we have transcended. There's enough for everybody and all the ecology, and it never has been in history. We've never had it. I, I we're coming to it's like speciation, <laughs> punctuated wouldn't, equilibrium. Wouldn't you say that if large corporations are the problem. Well, I think it's more than that. It's the whole organization, but, but, but all our institutions. Okay, but large corporations are, are how the accumulation of capital is taking place. That's why I asked okay. you about the profits. And therefore, no. why doesn't it make sense then that the alternative of the human being at the lowest level is the so, is the solution to well, that? Well, that thing you're saying, like right, lonesome right, Indiana. Right. The answer may That's be coming right. from That's lonesome Indiana. That's what it is. I'm telling you, it has to be that. Mm, yeah. Well, okay, maybe so, but it would be nice if the intellectual could be coming up with something other than arguing, is it Friedman, it's, it's no or is good. it Keynes, it or is it, you know. Because you, what you argue about doesn't ever come to a conclusion. You keep arguing, you don't do. That's and right, that's, I don't. I, I do, and yeah, I, at I least know. I try to do. I know, no, and, and that's true. what's frustrating, Absolutely. because you, you come up with all the arguments, and that's great, and you can do this forever. But I have to, got to do this. I've got to implement it, and, and that's believe and that's me, harder. he does. <laughs> he does. I've never seen anybody in my whole life work as hard as Carl Pearson. He works like a demon, and he's got. He puts up websites like I put a letter no, note home to my dog or something. My, my you know? son has figured out how to mm. implement a website. He's really in clever. One, month in What's he one, one, one minute. He does yeah. it in one minute. Is he using that Drupal? Yes. Yeah, he sets that's up really a website good. In one yeah, minute. the kids are yeah. really coming yeah. along. He's really great. Your yeah. family's yeah. great. The whole family. Your <laughs> wife's <laughs> wonderful, and you're really a major uh, figure of uh, of uh, hope on this planet. And I, I think it's great. A hopeless Indiana, yeah. but. The, the Indiana is not real, but there is a real place. Yeah, there is. And you're yeah. not just, uh, it's not just here. It, you've no, actually found a, you've actually Ohio. found a person, some local political yeah. authority yeah. that yeah. really take a gamble yeah. with your thought yeah. and everything. Yeah. And I think it's wonderful yeah. to try that, yeah. particularly the attorney general yeah. thing. Yeah. And need, try to link we, the we four need, three we things. Need all four. The university, yeah. education. Need all four. Yeah. You need all four. You need they, all they, four. They, 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 it makes sense. One is education. Mm -hmm. The other is, is enforcement of our rights. Right. Another one is is helping small business make it more e easier to hire people, and the other one is to is to have self employment. Those are four right. really important those things. Are yeah, those, those are four biggies. Right. Those yeah, are four yeah, biggies yeah, that yeah, could yeah, add up yeah. to uh, to it a will, real it'll, justice. It will add up to freedom. 
That's Ed what it's going to be. It's going to it be adds freedom. Up to real money, yeah. but it yeah. adds up to real justice. That's and right. it would be a model. That's right. And we need models, it'll, don't it'll, we? It'll be a grassroots and How's it going? Expansion. I, I know you I, don't I want need, to. You I don't want to say anything, and you, it, it's too soon. I don't think soon. it's happening. I don't think it's happening there. In hopeless, it's not happening. Shucks! Yeah, I don't think it. 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 it the political process of r of having to run for office again. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to go in and do it, unfortunately. I'm yeah. not going to have uh, – I can't rely You're on anyone to else to do it. I've got to go in there and do yourself, it. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to gonna knock on the doors. Okay, keep yeah. doing it, Carl, okay. because the work you do – I would come with you and help sweep yeah. the Guillen stable. Somebody yeah. has to clean them out or something. But anyway, between us, we'll try to do it. Anyway, one of the best and most uh, active people, Harvard Law, and a person who's really on the side of justice, entrepreneurly so and so forth, a real gem, uh, and that's been Carl Pearson. So good to talk Thank to you, you my brother. Much. Welcome yeah, to yeah. the upcoming holiday season where we can be thinking about some of these issues. And we thank you for viewing. It's your pleasure. You've had the perception. Carl Pearson, uh, citizen, world citizen extraordinaire. Good to talk to you. Thank Happy you holidays. Much. All the best to the family. Thank you. Okay.